Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that red subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage that TV and radio refuse to cover. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. 44th annual Frolin Volley Fest in New Braunfels. 32 teams from around the area and across the state, and most of the 136 matches were outstanding. Third place, a pair of Austin area teams as Austin Lake Travis took on 5A state semifinalist Dripping Springs. Lake Travis had a really good tournament despite missing several players, and they were able to put on a couple of big runs to beat the Tigers 14 and 15. The Tigers beat district rival and host school New Braunfels Canyon back in the quarterfinals finals, all those teams will certainly be a factor in the state playoff race, which will start in two months. Gold medal match, Arlington Martin taking on San Antonio Clark. Amy Wagner promoted up to head coach from Melissa Miller headed over to Smithson Valley. Martin beat Clark earlier in the tournament, and the Warriors came in having not lost a match in the tournament and dropped only two sets in the Frawl and Volley Fest. Clark beat a pair of state semifinalists, San Antonio Reagan, a district rival, and Dripping Springs to reach the finals. A good matchup between the DFW and a team from the strongest volleyball district in the area. Let's check out how things played out. A very competitive match as Clark saved six match points in the second set, but Martin with great kills and blocks all tournament long from Courtney Hansen and Emily Adams pushed the DFW school to the title. The Warriors win the Frawl and Volley Fest 23 and 22 going unbeaten in tournament play and dropped only two sets to take the trophy back up I-35. Our goal was just go out, play hard, play the best we could, and then it ended up working out in our favor. Isolating matchups and trying to focus on what we can do to uh, outlast 
whatever's going on. And uh, like I said, there are some really good teams, and they really made us work for it. You see what they're going to do, and you see what you can do to score, and so you just kind of adjust to some things and make the game go quicker. Teams down here are just scrappy, and they get everything up. And so it's great to uh, see some more defense-oriented teams rather than all the offense-oriented teams that we see down or up in the Metroplex. So it's just a different kind of game, but it's all competitive and it's great for playoffs and it's just stuff in the future. It's good that we know we can hang and uh, keep up with this competition, but also we know we still have a lot of work to do um, in getting there. So just getting back in the gym uh, with a lot of confidence and working hard to keep getting better. Clark still played outstanding in the tournament and will be a contender in 28-6A with Reagan and Brandeis and a lot of positives to take from the match for a team with a new coach and a lot of youth. I think it was awesome that we were able to go as far as we have gone. I know a lot of people didn't have a lot of faith in us coming into the season. We're young. I thought it was a really great like team bonding tournament and we really came together. They had a lot of things we hadn't seen this season, and so I thought it was good to like get it all out and everything before district starts, and I thought Martin was a really great team and we played really hard. Martin will head into the always difficult DFW jungle while Clark will take on Brandeis to start district play. Reporting from Comal County in the Frawlin Volley Fest, I'm Greg Sherman.